Hi there, I'm Chris McKinnon with the WBZ News Update. Management staff at Zoots Dry Cleaners will meet today to discuss when it will reopen its stores to let customers pick up their things. The company abruptly closed after going bankrupt. Yesterday, a judge ruled stores can reopen so customers could get their belongings. An attorney for Zoot says the company will have a plan by early next week. Starting next year, women will be allowed to audition and perform in Harvard's annual Hasty Pudding Pot presentations. The group has had a very long tradition of only allowing men on stage. The decision came yesterday as actress Mila Kunis accepted this year's Woman of the Year award. Some called on Kunis to boycott the show. She says she knew the change was in the works before accepting her award. The Patriots are giving fans a closer Super Bowl experience. The team says it'll stream live events and video from Minnesota 24 hours a day. The Patriots are calling it the Not Done Network. It launches Monday morning with the send-off rally from Gillette Stadium. It'll be available on Patriots.com, the Patriots app, the Patriots YouTube channel, and Twitter. WBZ is your Patriots station, and we are sending the team to the Super Bowl to bring you all the excitement leading up to the big game. Kate will be there as well as David and the rest of our sports team. You can look for their live reports from Minnesota starting on Sunday. Now let's check in with meteorologist Danielle Niles for a look at our forecast in the weekend ahead. Hey, Danielle. Hey, Chris. Temperatures today will be in the 30s. Bright sunshine, beautiful looking day, a little on the chilly side, though the wind will subside over the course of the day today. A few passing clouds, 19s in the chilliest suburbs, 20s for most of us, though. Highs tomorrow, check it out, right around 50 or just over that in spots. It won't quite feel that warm just because the wind is going to be gusting 30 to 40 miles per hour, dragging in that mild air. Tomorrow is dry, though. Tomorrow night, that's when rain moves in. Generally, 18 to 10 p.m. as showers Berkshires to Worcester County right around midnight in and around the city of Boston with some light rain Sunday morning you're waking up it's going to be a damp dreary start to the day but by late morning we're drying things out midday on Cape Cod the rain departs and I do anticipate some breaks of sunshine emerging from northwest to southeast the clouds may be a little bit stubborn along the south coast high temperatures on Sunday will be around 50 degrees as well now next week we are tracking the threat for some snow it looks like we'll see some uh, colder air come back in Monday in the upper 30s and if we get grazed by the storm, looks like late Monday and Monday night into early Tuesday, there may be some lingering light snow. So that's the next setup to watch. Cold on Wednesday, but back up into the 40s, Chris, by Thursday. Danielle, thank you very much. I'm Chris McKinnon. This has been a WBZ News Update. Have a great day.